Hey everyone and welcome to episode 2 of my custom house series as House Sentinel and I just want to quickly mention uh, obviously we left off last episode with a uh, crash and uh, unfortunately I did not have autosaves enabled. I have them enabled now for monthly and I skipped ahead the time uh, about where we left off last time. We left off I think we crashed January 2nd uh, so I went ahead and just skipped that time. Obviously things are a little bit different and they're actually quite different. I mean not so much what concerns ourselves uh, but a lot of things have actually happened just want to go over a couple things man's raider has died so now we have a new king beyond the wall but he's losing so i guess it didn't really matter uh the ironborn have completely attacked somewhere else instead of going through deep boot mod and besieging winterfell they've actually started to take over carhold and some of the umber lands and so far uh the starks are actually moving north but they only have actually they have their army here 14,000 men so they're about to crush them probably going to win the war nonetheless and we're actually winning the war against the westerners now tyrone Lannister died so now Turian is Lord of the Rock which is interesting um, so there you go and uh, other than that who else do we have right and our Lord uh, Jason Malister died as well so there's a couple very interesting deaths uh, other than that one thing that is obviously kind of important is the education of my wife it's a little bit different now she did have the diligent trait uh, before she also became a naive appeaser and she's tempered um, and I don't know what else she was I think maybe she had just, I don't actually remember that much, but she is not arbitrary. In fact, she's kind, which she wasn't before. So I guess it's an improvement of some sorts, but yeah, so uh, there, there she is. Um, uh, uh, but everything else has turned out the same way. She does look the same as before, so that's nice. And we did actually get a little bit more money, but we had different events. Um, so uh, instead of uh, funding some craftsmen or something, some like the event we had before this time I actually had to invest 50 gold coins and we don't have like a build modifier or anything like that so it's a little bit this happened I guess is a little bit worse than what happened before but yeah it's it's not that tragic it's just because I invested we are now a little bit of uh, we're lacking a little bit of money but I hope that it pays off I really do um but yeah, that was that was pretty much all. Uh, I think you, you you caught up. The rest has kind of evolved in the same fashion. I mean, obviously Joffrey's still fighting against Stannis, and a lot of these smaller lords. I mean, obviously they're different lords, but still some of these lords have taken up arms in the name of Joffrey Baratheon against Stannis. But as soon as that war against Stannis is over, uh, they're going to be fighting the North. They're going to be fighting the North. But right now Stannis is still winning. My beloved wife Chloe is constantly bored and keeps talking about the new fashion she has heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court. My money is your money, darling. I gained the trait charitable. I will consider introducing new fashion to court. Vanity is a sin. Let's go to church instead. I don't think so. This is my money you're talking about. I don't think I'm like that. Um, I think... I think I'm gonna actually be charitable for now. I think that's the best option. I want to make my wife happy, that's for sure. So yeah, I will be charitable. Although if she keeps asking, then we're gonna have it. We're gonna have a problem. We're gonna have a problem. Uh, yes, you won the siege of Blackhaven. Very good for you. Uh, anything else particular that's going on? I do wonder what the Dornish are doing. The Dornish have actually joined the crown. Interesting. Now I'm guessing Prince Tristane is uh, is betrothed to Marcella. Yeah, she is. Okay, or, or he is, I should say. Yeah, very good. Um, now, actually, there was a vent that... Um, oh, wow, look at that. House Bracken has taken up arms against uh, Stannis as well. Now, there was an event that uh, the Lord of, of Zika, Jason Malister, actually uh, was... was uh, uh, how do you call it? He was chased by a mob, and, this, uh, and, and he... He demanded entrance, I guess, into uh, Holdfast, and I granted him that entrance, and I actually, uh, he owed me a favor because of it, but then he just died. So, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of a shame. Okay, so, uh, there goes the, uh, the Wildling invasion, so no more White Walkers. Actually, he's still King Beyond the Wall. He did not fall apart, but now he has to deal with the White Walkers uh, on his own. Now, he has 800 men, and I'm guessing the White Walkers have more than that most oh yeah 2000 i'm just hoping that the wall is ready for this they only have a thousand men i don't know if that's enough um but oh, we'll see uh wiccan's host who's that wiccan botley an adventurer interesting he has 5000 men okay very good and there's some peasant revolts in the north now as well where's the northern host you have 15000 men why don't you go ahead and crush these 10000 you should you should be able to do that for some reason yeah he's messing things up 
I don't know what he's really up to. Soon enough, we're going to be out of debt, which is very good, uh, because that is really causing some problems. Um, Alright. Other than that, obviously the game now goes a little bit slower because obviously I have the uh, monthly auto saves uh, enabled. But I think it's it's definitely worth worthwhile because if now another crash happens, which I don't, I hope it doesn't. But if it does, it, we're only we're only at the very least or at the at the most we're only going to lose a month, so it's not going to be that bad. Euron Crozai, oh nice, he has declared Lord Euron's host claim on the INAS. That is very good. That's very good indeed. So you are actually defending against. Crows, I end you fighting the North. Wow, this is actually going to give the nor North some pause. I like this. Now all we need is fake Igong and in in invading as well, and then and then we have pretty much everything except for the Dana Daenerys, I, I guess. But she never really makes her move on Westeros, anyways. Now as a designated regent, I think I'm definitely going to designate my wife as that regent. And she's right. Uh, one thing, she was not pregnant, uh, but now she is, so that's good. She wants to have a daughter, but I want to have a son. So we'll see what the gods, uh, who the gods uh, side with. Well, what's this? Castamy has been looted by Lord Rolf. Is that Red Rolf? It could be. I'm actually not too, not too certain on this. You know what? Uh, let me quickly check out Victorion again. This is Theon. Where's Victorion? There. Yeah. So. For some reason, I, I guess, yeah, he was always around God, and then he became R'hllor because he was healed by that one dude when he was uh, on his way to uh, Slaver's Bay, I guess. Okay, that does make sense. And the Faith of Seven Uprising eh, fighting Stannis. Not good. Not good for him, but I guess that also makes sense. The Faith Milton has been armed, and who's fighting here? Strong Song. Okay. Uh, how's your walk going? You are... You're, wow, you're losing against Stannis by 14%, and... And you're losing against Rob Stark by 32%. Very nice. I like that. I like how uh, Joffrey's childhood picture is still here. Whereas uh, he's actually now grown up. And actually looking quite handsome. A new Lord Commander. So Gior Mormont has died as well. We have Brynden the Blackfish. How did the Blackfish get onto the wall? Of course he's the new Lord Commander. That's amazing. That's amazing indeed. Samuel Tarly. Is uh, a mace. He's at the Citadel, actually. I think. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he seems to be at the Citadel right now. He is uh, at Court. No, he's at Horn Hill. Why is he at Horn Hill? He's a black brother. He should not be at Horn Hill. He should be at the very least at the Citadel. And Sir Gendry the Bull has been released. Where is he now? He's at the Court of King's Landing of Hollow Hill. Of course, yeah, he's been knighted. Ah, very nice. This is this is cool. So many things. Now, this is why I actually like this because even though there's not much going on with my character at the moment, because we're obviously just waiting for, well, anything really to happen, especially for me actually having a son, um, we can have a look at all of these crazy things happening uh, all around us. And I'm actually barely able to keep up because there's just so many cool things going on. Now, you, uh, okay, yeah, you're fighting. What's what's Woodmere doing? Who are you fighting? You are fighting against Joff. Oh wow, you've taken up arms. Against no, you are. F Wait, no, you are helping out. You're fighting the crown. I see. A son was born to Lord Mark of Sentinel's Point. Oh boy, but he was still born. <sighs> wow, Cosgrove. You know what? I think I'm not gonna give him a name. I'm not gonna give him a name. But wow, there's ten percent chance I might get depressed. I might become depressed. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna give him a name because he died anyways. Um, Cecile Dondarrion has been released, but not without blinding her. Wow. She died in the dungeons. What happened to Lord Edric? The unnatural death. Beric Dondarrion was also... He was slain by Lord Tyrell and Lord Manfred of Blackhaven. Okay. So many things going on. But that's obviously very unfortunate. Now, actually, I'm not the only one with a stillborn child. We also have Joffrey uh, and Marjorie, and they conceived... Um, a Elisane Lannister, attractive girl, but she also died, uh, stillborn. Uh, there's a faint knock on your door, followed by a small figure peeking into the room. You remember him well. It's one of the craftsmen you founded a couple of years ago. Well, one year ago, I guess. Uh, he shamefully tells you that the Enterprise didn't go exactly as planned, and that their workshop is now bankrupt, with nothing to show for it. Well, that obviously sucks a quite a lot, because I invested 50, 50 bucks in that. That was a bad investment indeed. Well, it doesn't always work out, I guess. 
but I still think it was worth the risk. And Balon Greyjoy died now. What the heck is going on? So who has taken over now? Victarion Greyjoy. Oh my god, this is so cool. And he's now fighting the Crow's Eye. And look at this. He only has 14,000 men. Uh, the Crow's Eye has 10,000. So they're not that far apart. But Euron's also ill. So he might die as well. Which would be kind of kind of terrible. And, and uh, Brightwater has declared a war on the Reach. What the heck is actually going on? Wow. So you are fighting the Brightwater now? And Red Lake as well as Long Table and Holy Hall. So the Reach is not going to be helping out the Crown that much. So it's basically the West and the Tywin, uh, and the Tyrion, as well as the Crown Lands fighting the Stormlands. I, I guess Dawn is helping them as well. And the Reach is completely out of it now because in the Civil War. Holy balls. In the second Fave the Seven Uprising, what the heck is actually going on? So a group of Threatsmen has come. This is the... Oh, this is the event we had. And last time... You know what? No. I, I, I funded him before. It didn't work out. And that was when I had like 30 coins saved up. Now I only have 17. I want to do it because I think now it would be a sound investment. But I just... I can't. I can't. I can't be in that that much. It, it, it just... No. I, it, that, that wouldn't work. Because in case of war, I need to be able to... I mean, we're at war. I'm just very happy that my lands so far have been untouched. But, you know, I, I f you know what, actually? I'm going to go ahead and, f uh, you know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to claim Green Fork. And I tell you why. This guy has taken up arms against uh, Stannis Baratheon, uh, a king that I actually favor. And uh, his men will be gone. So this should be very easy to see. So this is the reason I'm actually going to fabricate on Green Folk. We didn't actually this time get the event to get the claim on Stillfen, but since I decided not to take it up anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, so many things going on. Uh, wow, the North is actually losing against the uh, against the Greyjoys. That's unbelievable, especially because you have so many men. What are you doing? He only has 5,000. He's going to defend against the, the Crow's Eye. And the White Walkers are marching. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm actually so pumped at, at what's going on. There's so many cool things. It's too many things to actually be able to keep up with this. Um, but yeah, the Veil, you, yeah, Sweet Robin is there. His guardian is Alba Royce. Okay, so that hasn't changed at all. And yeah, you guys are besieging. Uh, the Pipers have decided to join the Crown. Not too, not too surprising. 12,000 men. I wish I could do something against this, but... There's just nothing I can really do. Who's leading this? Lord Melvin II. How is your civil war going in the Reach? Um, let me uh, quickly show you. Or oh, let me see, I guess. 16% in favor of the Lord of Brightwater Keep. Mm hmm. Yep, that was to be expected. I'm just really uh, looking forward to actually take over the Green Fork. Because that would be quite useful, I think. Um, and the reasoning, as I said. It, oh, wow. Uh, well, yeah, you know the reasoning. A cattle has mysteriously disappeared from herds all throughout my land. Luckily, my bailiff found the rustlers. The cattle has been returned, no sanction needed. Thievery is punished by cutting off the hands. Another day I would have spared their lives, not today. The coldest and darkest cells reserved to scum like them. Now, here's the thing. Usually, at this time, I think thievery was uh, historically punished by cutting off the hands. But that is not what I would do right now. I think imprisoning them, though... Well, imprisoning them, once again, it, it depends on how much they have stolen. And it doesn't say how long I imprison them. But you know what? I guess that's the best thing. Because cutting off their hands is pretty final. So l let's just let's just imprison them for now. And I guess we could... Here's my thinking. We imprison them, but they could eventually be sent to the wall, Right? So, yeah. Or eventually I could release them if I feel like they have served their term. I think this is the best thing to go for. Okay, Mayfair's Rast is now being under siege. I wonder why House Wands has not decided to actually switch allegiance. I mean, they should have. Baron of Crow's Edge, Peasant Revolt. Yeah, many people switch uh, allegiance from the north, which makes sense. I mean, we're losing every war. Uh, but I'm staying faithful to House Malister for now. Uh, okay, so there's the North fighting, actually winning a battle. That's pretty good. And uh, now I guess as soon as they actually go ahead and unsiege all of this territory, because I think that's where most of the war score is coming from. Yeah, 34 from occupation. Although, how did they win all these battles? It it just it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but yeah, Lord Titus Blackwood has 
done that. Okay. Brindam Blackfish, the Lord Commander. I, I think that's pretty amazing. That is so amazing. Who's your heir? Andrew. Andrew of Tarth. Wait, what? Okay, but Selvin is still. Selvin of Tarth. Where is Brienne? There is Lady Brienne the Maid. She's ill as well. Um, and, oh wow, an extra tithe from our castle. I'm very good indeed. That's definitely necessary. 43 gold. So now I would almost be ready to invest in a uh, craftsman guild again. But I doubt this is going to come up again. Uh, which is very sad. I really wish that would have been a, a successful investment. Would have been so much better. And wow, some of the Stormlander lords have actually taken up arms against the Stormlands. Although I guess they've always, they've always done that, yeah. Uh, let me actually quickly check out what that... Oh, yeah. So Davos actually has a small Stormlander castle. But he has the Crownlander bonus. And they have a penalty to Light Cavalry. And is there also a Stormlander bonus somewhere? Oh, I think that depends on the... Yeah, the character's culture. I see. So what do the Ironbone... The Ironbone probably have heavy... Heavy infantry bonus. I could imagine. Oh, but the, the uh, Crow's Eye is actually taking that... Wow, look at this. The Crow's Eye is winning. The war for the, uh, for the Sea Stone Chair. So they have Pike here and Ironborn. Uh, light infantry, heavy infantry, but cavalry, yeah. Okay, that does make sense. Whew. Alright, so, so many th the North is losing, it looks like, and they're not going to win. But uh, the Crown is... who's winning? It's... Well, Oh yes, Joffrey is winning by 70% now. I think all of the Faith of the Seven uprisings have really hurt Stannis. And Olena Tyrell, or Redwine I should say, has died. And we crushed again. Um, okay, I mean I, luckily I have these uh, autosaves enabled, which is good. But that is kind of frustrating. Well anyways, uh, I guess I'm going to put a cut in here, so I'll see you guys next time.